Hello everyone, today I want to introduce to you the Craftsmart polymer clay. Craftsmart is the Micah store brand and they carry a lot of different craft supplies like paints and brushes and so on. And this clay sells for $1.29 regular sale price. I'm not sure if there is a 5 for 4 deal as for the other clays. But that's the price I bought it for at Michael's and it comes in 15 different colors all together. Uh, I couldn't find a color chart online but the color names are pretty straightforward. So um, I think everybody can imagine a color under that. So that would be white, beige, red, orange, yellow, green. Blue, purple, brown, tan, black, pink, bright green, light blue, and light purple. The polymer clay from this store brand comes also in 1LBS packs, which would be in white, black, brown, and yellow. And it bakes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit or 135 degrees Celsius. And it says 50 minutes per a quarter inch or six millimeters. Now I've had this clay for almost a year now. It, it has been almost a year since I've been to the US and the first thing that I noticed about this clay is that it's really really soft. If you look at the package you can see that this has been pretty much smushed a lot already and when I bought it, I thought it was because many people tend to, you know, squish polymer clay in the store. But um, that was not the case. It's actually from the clay itself. That makes it almost not workable, at least for me. And at least for this color and the brown that I bought. I also bought the light blue and the light purple and those were fine. These are just easy to condition but not completely melting in your hands. But the tan and the dark brown was almost impossible to work with. I couldn't even use them on molds because when you try to get them out they would just completely deform again. So I'll try to demonstrate this and like I said I bought these a year ago and this package has been opened for a year. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that it's um, sticking to the foil that's around it. And now if I try to break something off. It is completely, it's almost as conditioned clay already. And another bad point about the brown is that it, I think I like smushed it a few times and let's see if I can get it to focus, but it stains the fingers insanely. Not sure if you can tell, but yeah, it stains the fingers a lot. So. What I can say to this guy is I personally would not purchase it again simply because I basically can't use the tan and the brown color by itself. It is okay if you mix it with a different clay that has been already a bit dried out and is very hard to condition. But other than that I would not suggest these colors. I'm not sure if it's with every single clay bar like that or if it has something to do with the colors. I had two of the tan and both were not fine but like I said the other colors I got were fine so I can just suggest that you really have to try it out in the store. Try to see if the bar is unusually soft without conditioning and if so I would not buy it. Other than that um I think they have a good color variety. It's not a lot, but it's good for starters if you just 
want to try out polymer clay for the first time because it's really cheap and for everybody in the US easy to find but if you want to try to get into polymer clay a little bit more I would really suggest you have a look at the other brands altogether I can say if you can find a bar with the right consistency I'm sure you can work just fine with this clay but make sure you have a look at it first before you buy it because as I said um, I'm not sure what happened to these bars if they were just stored wrong um, or if it was just a badge that went wrong but as they are like this um, it's really hard to work with them because they can't hold their shape whatsoever. I hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, feel free to comment down below if you have different a different opinion or have different experiences with Craftsmore clay or maybe the same experience that would be really good to know. Um, but please keep in mind to be nice and to be fair. As I said, this was my experience with it and I'm just trying to give you guys a good overview and don't want to hide something and say this is a good product when I did not experience that. So, thank you guys so much for watching.